So uh, today uh, I want to show you something new. Um, I just got the uh, flight scope Mivo, and um, I'll tell you what, this thing is incredible. I'm really impressed with it. Um, uh, so much that basically I realized that um, the clubs I'm playing with are are not right for me, and um, and I'm going back to my older clubs. Uh, So setting up the unit is quite simple. Uh, all you gotta do is just uh, put it uh, about uh, two meters behind your the, the ball. Just turn this on and sync it up with your phone and then you, you start um, hitting balls. Um, and it has so much information that is very useful. Uh, what I'm gonna be looking at is, uh, apart from the carry distance, uh, there's the launch angle, there's the spin numbers, uh, the spin rate, the, uh, the height, and uh the smash the match factor um and um as well as the tempo there's also the tempo and that's really helpful too i'm already starting to see some uh correlations between different numbers like tempo uh the launch angle has been really helpful as well uh, i noticed that a lot of um, a lot of balls my launch angle was quite high and that's why i was losing uh some distance so this thing will tell you that it will tell you and in fact, on some shots that I, um, I felt really good um, and didn't go that far, uh, simply uh, with this unit, you can tell that it was, uh, it was the, the launch angle, it was way high. Um, so let me show you how it works. So one thing that you want to make sure is to align the ball to this site right here. So that's where the ball should be. So about uh, six, five to seven feet behind the ball. And this has to be aligned with the ball. So I'm gonna be using the brand new Inesis ball. And one thing that you have to remember is to put this, uh, this markers um, right on the ball. And right here, like this. And basically this has to face the net so you're going to be hitting from this way okay so here's some of the information that you get from um, uh, this was my seven iron again and uh, you can see the carry distance the club I mean the club the carry distance club speed ball speed smash spin lunch height and time uh, I think they're all really important and then you can start just looking over and seeing what you did and compare for instance the the height on this last one 103 compared to the launch so the launch was a little higher so the, the ball went higher on that one and um, so it's really interesting too also seeing the the tempo on the on the right hand side and what I noticed too is that um, some of my best shots, uh, what I got is uh, I had the, my tempo was higher. So you can see that here. In fact, my best shot was 155 and my tempo there was 6.1. Uh, the ball went a little higher. The uh, launch was 23.6. Spin was low. The smash, and that, that counts a lot, the smash factor. That's, I think if I can bring the higher to like 1.4, that would be excellent. So there's a lot of information here, very useful. So there's many uh, data, a lot of data here uh, to work with. And um, it's really interesting. And um, apart from club speed, ball speed and carry, there's even the launch. And looking at these numbers, like I said before, I can see that my launch um, number is a little high and um, so I've been uh, looking at that and trying to get that number low and then another one that I like also the um, the tempo it seems to me like the higher the the time is the better swing you get so I'm really really impressed with this Okay, so another option that uh, you have with the Mevo, which is I think very helpful, 
is uh, the video you can just set your phone and uh, it will record every single shot and you can just go back and look at the maybe look at the good swings and look at the bad ones and see exactly what you did for instance on this one right here um, I got a carry of 149 which is pretty good for me and uh, I can basically uh, just go back and see exactly what I did how my contact was how much I rotated what I'm doing in the back on the downswing, um, my positions at every 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 step of the way, I guess. And uh, so this is really helpful. I mean, you can just go back to every shot and see what you were doing. Uh, and also, you know, if you go back to the bad ones, then you can understand what you did wrong and then what you can co do to correct it. So very interesting and useful. Okay, so from the um, from the application, the flight scope Mevo. You can go to the um, configurations and basically there you got to tell it what you're doing you can use it indoor outdoor and you can set your your distance this is the distance between the the ball and the the mevo so you can set it i set it at five because that's that's how far i got it from then you can uh, choose the aptitude the altitude uh, in my case is 213 and uh, here you can you can decide to do video or data so video you will record a video every time you um, you make a swing or data or you just you just see the data that's it they can you can uh, decide how to display the data unfortunately you only have six even though they provide you with eight pieces of information then here you have the measurements uh, you can do imperial uh, normally use Imperial or uh, the EU metrics. So I'm going to leave it as Imperial, but there's, you can use, use uh, meters or um, or yards. And the rest of it is pretty much just... Uh, uh, here's another one too, the, uh, the speech, right? If you wanted to tell you what um, was your... Um, the voice, it could tell you what is... In this case, I set it for carry. But you can decide what to tell you. If you. For instance, if you're working on on tempo, then you go ahead and just pick tempo time, and it will tell you after you make the after you strike the ball, it will tell you the the, the number. Uh, normally, I'll set it as, as in carry. I mean, to carry. So, but you can do whatever you want there. This ones are normally just just leave it as it was. But um, that's pretty much it. Um, to configure the um, the Mevo, I never tried the pitching now. The pitching, I'm not sure how it works, but um, I guess if you're just hitting short, um, maybe like 50 yard shots. So I will try that. Maybe I'll make another video on that. But uh, normally using it right now indoor, uh, which actually is not indoor, but it's in a hitting against the two net. So so that that's all the the data here. So, like for instance, on that shot, um, that was pretty good for me. And if you look at the um, launch and the carry distance, and um, as well as the smash factor, that's what I need to work on right there. So, I think if I can get the number to go up to like 1.4, then that would mean that I'm making better contact. And um, the launch, I think that's pretty good right there. So. Anyways, these are just some numbers, but there's other other information here as well. So uh, this is great information here. This uh, the carry distance is so accurate, and a lot of times, you know, when you're practicing, you think that you can carry a lot more. And actually, what what uh, what matters is uh, the uh, the consistency in your shot. So this lets you know exactly what it what are your averages and what you're really hitting. So definitely can help you in your game. So another thing that I was surprised with this uh, unit is the difference in ball, the type of ball that you use. I mean, it's incredible, but some balls just seem to go more than other balls. And uh, I tested it. I will do another video on that, but um, it just shows you um, how uh, different factors can change so many things. Apart from the clubs too, you know, um, like this one is a regular shaft and my stiff shafts. And with this one, I can carry like... Um, almost five to ten percent more than the other one so 
and uh, I did like uh, about 20 shots. So, so definitely I'm gonna stick around, I'm gonna go back to this, uh, uh, these are the rocket blades. So I'm impressed, I have to say I'm impressed. I will try it out maybe with the driver and all the other clubs, but uh, so far I'm, I'm really happy with it. Okay, so that was it for the review. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. There's so many different, uh, there's so many, so much data there to work with. And I'm really looking forward to understanding and uh, seeing how to improve. I think um, I will highly recommend this unit. Um, I think it will, it makes uh, practicing a little more fun and helps you understand what you're actually doing in your swing and how to improve. Um, so definitely, I will definitely recommend it. Well, uh, thanks for watching and uh, until next time.